how is your Thursday going? Um, I am not using the Runes of the Gods cards today. Um, reason for that, I had to get what I could and get away. It seemed that Bub was on the warpath and he attacked me. Little fucker actually drew blood, so. Seems to have calmed down now. What do you want? But anyway, I figured I'd just use the uh, rune cards that came with the Viking Oracle. Tomorrow will be a different story. Also, we have Radiant Rider Weight. We have the Light Workers Oracle. We have Spirit Animal Oracle. And I think I should round out the bunch. <clears throat> I don't think we've ever used Light Workers Oracle on this channel. We have used it on High Notes a couple of times. So, yeah, just uh, speaking of high notes, um, if you've noticed I've only uploaded maybe like one or two videos yesterday, that's because I do have the other videos. Amazon Web Services is what high notes runs off of, and they've been having problems lately. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get started with uh, pulling all this together. But uh, yeah, that's what's going on. That's why I haven't, you know, it took forever for one video to upload, and then they just wouldn't upload. Couldn't do it. Could not be done. It was the nuttiest thing I have ever seen in my life, but, you know, what are you going to do? In any case, um, like to wish a happy birthday to, to Bean, who celebrated it yesterday and I was on her birthday stream goofing off and having fun this is why if you haven't joined High Notes you really should there is a lot of fun to be had there also you guys don't really get to see much of me but on uh, High Notes you get to see me and you get to see how much fun I have doing this By the way, just want to put this out there. If you're on Cloud Hub and you're watching this and it's upsetting you, do yourself a favor. Turn it off. Go find something you'll be more comfortable watching. Just makes a lot more sense, don't you think? Oops. Our spirit animal. I knew I was forgetting something. I was like, why is there an empty space there? Well, it's because your old. Your old buddy Raven forgot the damn spirit animal car. <laughs> that can happen. It happens all the time. Don't worry about it. We just correct the little mistake and move on. Right? Right. Okay. So. Oh. Love the ball. Love the ball. Come on. Come on. Love the ball. Okay, well, check, go get it. I think that's it he wanted to play, but he plays very, very rough. He drew blood this morning. So, Significator. Still sticking with your diplomacy. For some of us, this was a success yesterday. I know for me personally it was. So it's a good thing to stick with it. Kind of going with what works, and we have none other... Then the goddess of love, war, and passion herself, Roya. <clears throat> it's important that if we're being ruled by our passions, we don't let them get the better of us. Basically, in essence, don't be such a tryhard. You don't have to. Many times your passions can steer you in the right direction. You know, when we're chasing our dreams, we're... Um, you know, pursuing our calling, we can really actually make some uh, big steps forward. However, if you're being ruled by your passions, they can destroy you very easily. So, something to keep in mind. Moderate yourself a bit. We do have a frog spirit today. So we are cleaning out the clutter. Now what does that mean? Very simple. Remember what I said about not trying so hard? 
today's the day not to try so hard. You don't have to go full bore into this thing. You don't have to overcomplicate or overthink matters. Also, today would be a good day to clear your space. Clear your desk at work. Where, wherever you are, just clear that space. Give yourself some room. If you're at home today, you're off. It's a good, good day to do some serious uh, decluttering. Get rid of some things. So for the tarot, we start with a three of pentacles, or three of coins. We have the sun, and we also have an ace of cups. Starting with that three of pentacles, that's all about collaboration. Pointing right to that thing card again. Definitely telling us not to get ruled by our, our uh, passions or anything like that. And it's always a good thing to, to remember, just remember. That it's in collaboration, not competition. Where everyone does a little better. I know this doesn't really sound like something I would say. That's because it's not me saying it. That's the message from the cards so far. Here's the thing, I am all about you know, individual merit, you know, you know, the person to the best of their ability doing something and always improving on how they do it and putting themselves ahead, kind of ahead of the curve. But if you can lift someone else up and teach them what you know, rather than hoarding the knowledge yourself, I'll tell you one thing. It helps a great many people. For that sun, we do have some uh, serious happiness. And this is that contentment. So we're, we're going to have to accept that some things, we're, again, you're not going to get everything you want, but you will get exactly what you need. And that's what counts. But the funny thing about that is we're actually still exploring some emotions. Have you noticed that with that Ace of Cups? So just like that Sun card, we have some new emotional beginnings. There's also an air of contentment to it, and I do see a lot of contentment today. Um, Having that contentment, it would be sort of like, um, how can I put this? I see someone like Keanu Reeves in here. Keanu Reeves could be living super large right now. He could have a mansion on the hill, he could have a, you know, a personal observatory in his place. He, he could have all of that. Do you know that he doesn't have any of that? In fact, he still lives in the same apartment that he did, I think, when he first started. I'm sure he's got a few items he considers luxury items. I'm sure he's got a couple of motorcycles, a couple of cars, something like that. But... He's also been known to take roles and go, you know what, why don't you just reduce my salary to this, that way you can pay those special effects guys. Because he's content with what he has. And have you noticed the wave of success that he's been riding? And his career's had a few hiccups, sure. But look at the, look at the career success he has right now. That's kind of what we're aiming for today. You get that contentment, you're okay. Make sure that's what you're getting. You're getting what you need so that you can be content for now. But still, we should always strive for better, shouldn't we? Going to the Lightworkers Oracle, we have the first ray of power. I'm already liking where this is going. 
Next we have the alchemical mutation and then the second ray of wisdom. <clears throat> Let me show you what I'm seeing here. First ray of power is very self-explanatory. As we meditate and we do things for ourselves and we, you know, gain that knowledge. <clears throat> As we, as we gain that knowledge or we gain that power, it's going to be up to us to look at it and say, okay, what is this and how do I use it? Because what comes next is from that first ray, from that first meditation, we then kind of go into ourselves. We take our base self I really would have liked for this card to have been called Alchemical Evolution instead. But we changed something. Did you know that when you meditate and when you do it often, the literal structure of your brain changes slightly? That's true. That has been medically proven. So from that small little mutation, maybe physically, but mentally followed by spiritual, well actually spiritually followed by mentally, followed by emotionally, you can then start achieving greater heights. Now, old Uncle Ben used to say, with great power comes great responsibility. And you will begin to understand exactly why You've started to ascend to that level. You will understand the responsibility that you have with it. And you will begin to understand how to implement the actions involved. Unlike Mr. Bub here, who only thinks in the moment. Finally, I'm going to go ahead to the runes. We have Thurasaz. So you will face challenge today. Uruz, this is your strength. And finally, Isa, which is that meditative state. If you've noticed something, usually this is where I put the, normally I'm going, you know, mind, body, spirit. That's in the larger readings, but in this case, I see a lot of spiritual right here. It's almost like the spiritual for tomorrow's big reading is happening right there. Um, but I mean, it's general advice overall. So face your challenges today. Remain strong. Remain adamant. Remain assertive, rather. Assert yourself. Sit where you, sit on your throne of truth. Do not let anything take you off of it. Plant yourself like a tree next to the river of truth and tell them, no, you move. When it's done, you are going to need, actually, before you go today, make sure you do like a couple of minutes of meditation. Just sit there, breathe, really th try to focus your thoughts. Try to get that together because it's going to come in two waves. That first one's going to give you the power, but the second one will give you the wisdom to be able to wield it effectively and responsibly. So, I hope that made sense today. I hope you were able to find some value in this reading today. <clears throat> I really like this uh, Lightworkers Oracle deck. I mean, just the artwork alone is beautiful, is it not? And to be honest, kind of easy reads. I'm going to try to do high notes today. I don't know if Amazon Web Services will allow me. But in any case, 
thank you so much for joining me. I've truly enjoyed spending time with you today. Of course, I truly enjoy spending time with you any and every day. I really do. Just remember three important things. Number one, always take care of yourselves and each other. Number two, always do what lights you up. And number three, as always, my friends, shine on.